can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the Queen. Moin moin, ihr geilen Schnittchen. Herzlich willkommen zu Episode 4 von The Wolf Among Us. Sie heißt In Sheep's Clothing. Was so viel heißt wie... Der Wolf, beziehungsweise wir haben ja den Wolf im Schafspelz. Und wir sind hier gerade... Oh, was ist denn das für eine Blutspur? Das sind wahrscheinlich wir. Und wir noch ein bisschen am Bluten sind vom Kampf. Und warum auch immer wir jetzt plötzlich ge... Was ist denn hier? Äh, äh, äh? Aha. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Silver Kugeln sind nicht so gut. Oh! We can't keep this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were Alter. I can do for the pain. My arm! Stay still and let me finish. My arm? Yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Silberkugeln beim Werwolf ist, glaube ich, nicht so gesund. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Hm. Alter, wir müssen jetzt den gebrochenen Arm selber erstmal wieder fixen. Ja, kein Problem. <lacht> Alter. Heaven sake. Lol. Oh. See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Oh. Dann wird was lang gebraucht. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, Alter. Sure. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Hawa. <lacht> Aber krass, dass er überhaupt noch lebt. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. <lacht> we'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Lass doch mal den Arzt hier arbeiten, Mädel. Danke. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Hmm. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Aua, aua. Oh, Gott, wie viel holt er denn da raus? 
Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? <laughs> Swiney! Ja, er sieht echt nicht gesund aus, der Kollege. Ei, 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 ei. Hammer Big B. <lacht> Erstmal hier einen guten äh, Wodka? Nee, Gin? Nee, Whisky? How do you, um, feel? <lacht> It's Big B, Snow. Like shit. Okay. Don't worry Hell, about me. As good as it gets. Ja, wir sind doch nett. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. Voll der Klugscheißer, der Colin. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. <gasps> it, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Küsst euch! I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart I'm here for you. you know yeah, him. He's natürlich, never mein kleines Schneewittchen. Äh, uh, Flittchen, uh, what? Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? We need to get Crane. This is a bigger thing now. Over? Snow can't Or decide what's Crane best. Still the thing. Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow on the <laughs> Of course I'm pissed. We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him Tja. anymore. So what could this have to They do with They made the wrong knows? enemy! How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Swineheart, is that the arzt? Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? Ja, ich I mich aber auch. But it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah. 
Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. <laughs> Uh, it's what I do, okay? Nate. It can't let up until the fight is finished. He was, he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. Thank no, get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end... What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Er klingelt denn da? Pizza service? That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Oh. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Was Guess who's that? waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard? Blackbeard? Nerissa. Nerissa? 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 from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got Tja, das ist eine gute Frage. Wahrscheinlich, das war eine der Noten. Hm, ja, she probably knows something. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yep. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bullshit. You <laughs> get favors all the time. I know you do. Yeah, well, I think I ran out. Klar, Regeln sind dafür da, um sie nicht zu brechen, vor allem wenn sie Snow gemacht hat. So, wir sind jetzt wieder im Office zurück. Oder was? Ja. Er sieht auf jeden Fall noch etwas schmerzhaft aus, der Kollege, der arme Big B. Erstmal ins Büro gehen. Und da ist die gute Nutte. So. Bin ich mal gespannt, was sie sagen wird. Denn Telltale... Games Presents A Telltale Story by Dan Martin und irgendein Cassias, Ika Cassias, cool, der schreibt auch, während er mit dem Real Madrid Titel feiert. Fett. Nein, natürlich nicht. The Wolf Among Us. Das ging jetzt schnell mit der Episode, muss ich ehrlich sagen. Das ist cool. Also, ich habe ja vor kurzem noch äh, Walking Dead hochgeladen, also so gefällt mir das im Rhythmus. Das ist echt sehr angenehm. Die Folgen... Ich will jetzt nicht lügen, aber ich glaube 19 Uhr ist zurzeit kein Slot bei uns belegt. 
Außer jetzt vielleicht am Samstag die Trash Night. Daher würde ich sagen, 19 Uhr wäre ganz gut. Ich werde aber das über Facebook mitteilen, wenn sich was ändert. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. So, was hat sie uns zu erzählen? Have a seat. Die ist auch heiß auf uns. Oder die hat Schiss. Ja, ein Schnuckelchen, der Big B. I, um, are you okay? <lacht> you didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <lacht> Erst mal eine Smoken, jawohl. Huff and Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Lieber eine Schorette nehmen. Ach, was schön. Let's see. Uh, Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Mm. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Not toy. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Tja, worum geht's denn jetzt? You can't trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Toll. You. Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. Warum? Die müssen echt eingeschüchtert sein, die Mädels. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hm? Do you? I'm trying to help. I just I don't know what I can do. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Ja. Komm, sag. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, the slips are sealed. What? Okay. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Was ist das? Please, 
Don't. <sighs> okay. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Was for sitting done. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Hoffentlich. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. So schaut's aus. Aha, sehr gut. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. Huh. That was uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. <clears throat> hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Tja, und wer weiß, was als nächstes passiert. Aber das werdet ihr dann morgen sehen. Ich bedanke mich wieder einmal fürs Zusehen. Ich bin echt gespannt, wie es jetzt weitergeht, weil äh, viel, viel Gerede in der ersten Folge, aber auch ein bisschen Aufklärung. Ich bin gespannt, was passiert. Die Spannung ist auf jeden Fall da. Und ja, ich hoffe, ihr schaltet morgen wieder ein, wenn wir dann bei dem Schönen und dem Biest sind. Tschüss!